Hi, Wayne Thompson here from Pacific Paleontology. I'm just going to go through some of the steps that are involved in processing samples for microfossils. Um, these microfossils are primarily from the Purisma Formation here in Santa Cruz, and uh, it's about four to five million years old. Uh, the samples that we're going to be looking at. We're going to be tech, technically looking at um, micromollusks and foraminiferans for the most part, but there's a whole host of other microscopic creatures that could potentially be discovered um, during your explorations. But I'm going to go through some of the techniques that will allow you to extract these fossils uh, safely and um, prepare them for the museum and getting them ready uh, to catalog into the museum. So this is part of a greater environmental study that we're doing, um, trying to figure out the ancient environment of our incredible Monterey Bay uh, during the Pliocene period, four to five million years ago. All right, so let's get started. Micro techniques, here we go. Okay, the first step in preparing a microscopic slide or a, a slide for microscopic foram analysis and, um, and other fossils is to apply some of this. It's called gum tragicant. It's an organic glue. You just mix it with water um, and you apply it in a jelly form uh, so it's super thick. So if you don't get it thick enough, uh, the, the critters sometimes won't stick, but you just dip a brush about that size in there and you coat the slide. This is actually a little too thick, but you coat the slide in this organic glue. On previous applications, I made this a little too thin and it didn't didn't stick so you just give ample coverage to all the microscopic s squares there uh, this slide is a special slide called a wells slide probably named after somebody named wells and um, once you're done applying a, this glue liberally to all parts um, just wash it up with water and uh, get the slide cover back on the paper tends to buckle if you don't get the slide uh, glass slide in place and leave a little opening for air ventilation here um, but give it about an hour or so to dry up, and then you should be good to go. Now, for the interns, for you interns that are working on this, I will have this slide already glued up for you uh, when you get your packages. So um, you don't have to worry about this part, but I thought it'd be nice just to show you um, how the process is done there. All right, onward to the next step. Okay, we're going to go through the basic technique for picking uh, microfossils out of sediment samples. Uh, the first thing you want to do is pour out a small amount of sample into your tray. Um, this is actually a little bit less than what I would pour. Um, I would tend to fill up these one centimeter squares with one single grain layer thick of sediment. Um, you don't want to pour too much so that it's two layers thick uh, because then you'll miss some material. Now what I do in this is I just start in the upper left hand corner and go as if I'm reading. And then I go back the other direction, opposite, and make another pass going back in reading direction and the opposite direction and so on. This typically takes me about an hour and a half uh, to go through an entire uh, sample like this. Um, when you pour the sample out, it's going to be all clumped up into little piles, and so I tend to 
like to tap the edge of the paper or the metal or whatever type of tray you have, and that will sp help spread it out, um, and so on. So the first step in uh, doing this is just moving this tray back and forth and looking for something. Um, and typically, when you're looking for 4 amps, it's going to be this size material here that you see. Um, I put a couple of relatively giant uh, snails in here so that you can follow along and see what I do um, in order to pick these out and mount them. So the first thing to do is um, once you've found something, moving this back and forth slowly um, for each square, um, when you find something, I have a little uh, cap of a old coffee bottle and I just drop a little droplet of water in here and I get my brush wet. Now this is a triple aught brush, 000, so it's very fine. And that's what you wanna work with. The tip needs to be maybe one or two bristles uh, in, in thickness. So when you find a fossil, and I'm gonna use these as an example, these uh, mollusks here, um, because you can see them, um, you just tip, once the brush is wet, you just touch it to the fossil and it'll pick it up. There we go. So you can see, I don't know if you can see this fossil up close here. No, can't do it. Um, but anyway, this fossil is now stuck to my brush and I move my tray out of the way. Actually, uh, when, I'm, when I'm doing this, I don't have to move the tray too much. Um, I just look over at my slides, at my slide, my well slide, and find out where I need to put it and uh, drop it down. Now, when you touch the well slide, you'll, you'll give a droplet of water that activates the glue uh, to the slide itself and uh, it'll glue itself down. Okay, let me get a little bit more water here, grab this other one if I can. There we go. And I'm gonna touch this down here. And again, when I have ample water, this will glue it down to whatever square I put it in. Um, so for these larger ones, um, it's a cutoff. <clears throat> you kind of decide whether you want to use one of these slides or whether you want to put them in uh, a small vial. But for these particular, this particular um, species, genus here, this is Ulema. Th this is an important genus for us. So we're picking them out and putting them on well slides rather than a vial, small vial. Um, all the forams will go in here, the, the microscopic plankton, uh, the stuff that's really, really small. Um, so once, once I have that glued down, and this is actually a quick process that'll go back and forth between your tray and your slide here. Again, I wouldn't be moving the slide or the tray or the slide. I would just be moving my hand, um, but for the purposes of this video, I'm uh, switching the tray and the slide. So um, when you're working on this, you'll seamlessly go between here with your hand and the slide and you're picking out of the fossils. Okay, and that's it. Make sure your slides are properly labeled with the correct sample number that you're working with and uh, should be good to go. And, and I put a different, so I separate this also. One last thing. I separate each of the things that I find in the tray in here. So I might have one or two squares <clears throat> in my well slide that are filled with one particular sp species. Then I find something that looks a little different. I put it in a different square and so on. Try to keep it organized. I've had these fill completely up, all 60 squares, with different things um, from when I was working in the uh, deep sea in the Gulf of Aden, Eastern Africa. Um, so you can get quite a diversity of different things. In our purisma samples, we're not going to get 
uh, quite that much diversity, but uh, nonetheless, separate everything you find that looks a little different into a different square. All right, over and out for now. All right, folks, there you have it. Uh, that's the basics of microfossil picking. Uh, what I left out at the beginning there, uh, and which you probably don't need to know right now, but I'll just give you a little window. Um, there's a whole series of processes that we go through uh, when we're actually uh, breaking down the rock and uh, separating the sediment samples uh, for microscopic analysis. I didn't go through how that's done. It's part of the process, but uh, that's all done before you get your samples. Um, the other thing I want to mention is to have a good uh, binocular uh, dissecting scope. Uh, the, the, if you're spending any time on these microfossil samples, uh, you want to have some good lens, uh, lenses to look through if you're putting in hours of microfossil uh, processing. So uh, this one's a, a, actually a trinocular with a, uh, a camera attached to it so I can take pictures. Um, but you want to have a good microscope uh, so that you can uh, process your samples. All right, that's the basics. Uh, let me know if you have any questions, and we'll catch you next time. All right, bye-bye.